A U.S. court has ruled the company was responsible for the terminal illness of a school groundskeeper. The jury unanimously agreed that Monsanto acted with malice and ordered them to pay almost $300 million in damages. The case could set a precedent for thousands of other claims against the chemical giant. Dwayne Johnson, who was diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma in 2014, says his case is much bigger than just a personal victory. Since beginning this case, I received a lot of support and a lot of thank you and a lot of prayer and a lot of everything, just good energy from a lot of people that I don't even know, you know, and I'm glad to be here to help with this situation after I learned about Roundup and, 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 and glyphosate and everything. I'm glad to be here to be able to help with a cause that's way bigger than me. Well, the dispute over the cancer risks of Monsanto products have been going on for decades. The main focus being on one key ingredient, glyphosate. Now a widespread herbicide, it was discovered by a Monsanto chemist back in 1970. But in March 2015, the World Health Organization's Agency for Cancer Research concluded that glyphosate could be carcinogenic. Monsanto, for its part, claims the product safety has been backed up by scientific research. However, some reports allege that the chemical giant manufactured research in an attempt to discredit the negative findings. It's claimed the company paid scientists to publish studies affirming Roundup safety. Monsanto has pledged to appeal the court's decision. Cancer is a terrible disease, uh, but when you ask me about the verdict today, the verdict doesn't change the science. Uh, glyphosate is safe. It has been used safely for more than four decades ar around the entire world. It has been studied with, and there are more than 800 published peer-reviewed uh, studies that demonstrate its safety. The claims over Monsanto products and the possible risks have sparked numerous protests around the world in recent years. Take a look. All right, let's uh, get more on this and cross live to Zen Honeycutt, who founded the organization Moms Across America, which aims to move away from GMO products. You're very welcome to the program. What's your thoughts just on this, the, the court's decision first of all? Could thousands of others, as we're hearing, now come forward and actually sue Monsanto? Absolutely. Actually, they already are. There's 4,000 plaintiffs waiting to sue Monsanto, there's another trial that will be happening in St. Louis soon um, where they'll be able to call actually the employees to the stand. So that will be very exciting. And there, are, the lawyers expect 10,000 waiting in the wings. And there could be many more considering this win. This is a huge win for all of humanity and for life on the planet. We are so excited that the jury actually saw the truth and ruled in favor of the plan in the favor of the plaintiff. Mm, a credible amount of legal cases proposed now. Monsanto argues that Roundup is harmless if used properly. They have scientific research to back it up. I, I believe then that your child had health issues regarding glyphosate found in the product. What would you say about the research that says that it's harmless? Well, I would ask where that research came from and was it ghost written by Monsanto, which evidence has shown there to be many cases of that. And uh, also, you know, just what, what about the science that does show harm? And that's what I'm concerned about is the, the science that clearly shows harm, that it's not only a carcinogenic, mm. that it's a neurotoxin, an endocrine disruptor. It causes liver disease at very low levels. It's a chelator and an antibiotic. It, the, the amount of evidence is overwhelming that it does cause harm. And this is incredibly important because it's not just sprayed on parks and playgrounds, it's sprayed in our food. And we are consuming it at very high levels in everyday meals, if, especially if you're not eating organic. So this is very right. concerning and a very big win for us. Yeah, just looking at it perhaps in a slightly different way, Gly, Glyphosate and its product Roundup was called sufficiently responsible in the U.S. trial. 
Could you not say the same thing for thousands of products and perhaps why not just avoid them as you say go more organically if you can or, or indeed this person who is getting close to 300 million dollars um, he, he apparently had sprayed the thing and it broke and it went into his body some way the question would be would you not wear more protective gear there's a lot of different angles to this is there not Oh, yeah, absolutely. Well, you know, first of all, he was wearing protective gear and it got through anyway. And in the trial, Monsanto's own documents actually said that they advised that the workers wear protected waterproof gear, a, a mask over their face and chaps, you know, cover their legs and entire body. And that's not what they show in their commercials. I mean, they show women in espadrilles and men without gloves spraying Roundup in their backyards. That is very misleading information mm. and irresponsible. So it's not just the use of it, it's, it's the entire pro We should just get away from the use of Roundup and toxic chemicals altogether. There are other alternatives, safe alternatives. How much trouble are Monsanto in if sales plummet and more cases, and you're talking cases are already being brought against them, do you think that the figure I've just mentioned, almost 300 million, is excessive if you're talking about so many cases now being brought to the courts? Well, that, how they work that out financially really is their problem now. They caused this. I went and spoke in front of them four years ago at the Monsanto shareholder meeting and asked them to go in a new direction. And they clearly didn't. They are just trying to sell more and more Roundup. And if Bayer continues, Bayer that uh, now owns Monsanto mm. continues to go in this direction, they're going to continue to see the same problems. Consumers will no longer be uh, tolerating this poisoning of our pets and our peers and our planet. So they are in trouble and they brought this on themselves. Yeah, I just point out that Monsanto say they will appeal the case, but for now it looks like a big victory for people like you and, uh, and those who have fought uh, against the product. Zen Honeycutt, Moms Across America founder, thanks for coming on the program. Thank you, we're thrilled. Okay, we're back with more news in 90 seconds time.